today's episode, we're going to be discussing the Reconstruction Timeline. Reconstruction started in 1865 and lasted through 1877. So let's take a look at 1865. In 1865, the 13th Amendment was approved in January and ratified in December. It abolished slavery formally in the United States. Congress established the Freedmen's Bureau in March to provide assistance to emancipated slaves and white refugees. The assassination of President Abraham Lincoln occurred on April the 15th. Vice President Andrew Johnson became president. The end of the Civil War occurred on April 9th. Confederate General Lee surrendered to Union General Grant. President Johnson presents plans for reconstruction. A Joint Committee of 15 on Reconstruction was created. Benjamin Butler, a notorious Union general in the Civil War and advocate for rights for African Americans, was elected to Congress as a radical member of the Republican Party. Mississippi enacted its first of many black codes that would continue to discriminate against African Americans. The Ku Klux Klan was created in Tennessee. In 1866, a Civil Rights Act is passed despite President Johnson's earlier veto. The 14th Amendment was approved by Congress and it gave rights to freed slaves such as citizenship and due process. The Memphis race riots and massacre occurred on May the 1st. The Freedmen's Bureau responsibilities and powers expanded by Congress. Legislation was vetoed by Johnson, but Congress overrided his veto. The New Orleans race riots and massacre occurred on July 30th. In 1867, the first Reconstruction Act passed over Johnson's veto. The second Reconstruction Act passed over Johnson's veto. The third Reconstruction Act passed over Johnson's veto. The Republican Convention occurred in New Orleans. The party platform included equality for African Americans. In 1868, former slave Oscar J. Dunn was elected Lieutenant Governor of Louisiana. The Fourth Reconstruction Act was passed. The 14th Amendment was finally ratified in 1868. It entitled all people that were born or naturalized in the United States to citizenship and equal protection under the laws of the United States. Francis L. Cardozo was elected Secretary of State in South Carolina. He held office from 1868 to 1872. He was an African American. Thaddeus Stevens, who was a radical Republican and supporter of Land for Freedmen, died. John W. Maynard of Louisiana was elected to the United States Congress. Maynard was barred from his seat by white members of Congress. James J. Harris and PBS Pinchback are the first African-American delegates to a Republican convention. They supported the nomination of Ulysses S. Grant for president. In 1869, former Union General Ulysses S. Grant became president. He was allied with the radical Republicans in Congress, but he didn't have strong leadership for Reconstruction, and his administration was mired with corruption and scandal. In 1870, Hiram Revels an African-American was elected to the United States Senate. He was the first African-American senator. Jasper J. Wright was elected to the South Carolina Supreme Court as an African-American. The 15th Amendment was ratified. The 15th Amendment gave the vote to male citizens regardless of color or previous condition of servitude. Joseph H. Rainey became the first African-American member to be sworn in as a member of the United States House of Representatives on December the 12th of 1870. In 1871, the 42nd Congress occurred. There were five African-American members in the House of Representatives. Benjamin S. Turner of Alabama, Josiah T. Walls of Florida, and Robert Brown Elliott, Joseph H. Rainey, and Robert Carlos DeLarge of South Carolina. Also in 1871, the Ku Klux Klan Act was enacted. It was an act to enforce the 14th Amendment. In 1872, the Freedmen's Bureau was unfortunately abolished. In 1875, on March the 1st, the Civil Rights Act was enacted by Congress. It provided African Americans with the right to equal treatment in public places and public transportation. The Supreme Court later declared this act unconstitutional. Blanche Kelso was elected as a senator in Mississippi. He was the first African American senator to serve a complete six-year term. In 1874, Blanche K. Bruce was elected to the United States Senate. Robert Smalls, who is an African-American hero of the American Civil War, was elected to Congress as a representative of South Carolina. In 1876, the United States Senate voted to not seat PBS Pinchback based on the color of his skin. 
Wade Hampton was inaugurated as the governor of South Carolina, and because of this, the election of Hampton, who was a leader of the Confederacy, he confirmed fears that the South was not committed to Reconstruction. In early 1877, an electoral commission was formed to settle the disputed presidential election of 1876. It resulted in the Compromise of 1877. Because Rutherford B. Hayes was declared the winner of the election, federal troops would be withdrawn from the South, and Reconstruction was effectively over. On March the 4th of 1877, Rutherford B. Hayes became president. He arrived into office under a cloud of suspicion, and he was called his fraudulency by his opponents. Check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. Check us out on YouTube at Bowtie Guy and Wife. Check out our Teachers Pay Teacher Store. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our Pinterest page for many ideas to utilize in your classroom or at home. Thank you so much for watching.